Straighten you up a wee bit there. So, um, this isn't how you usually see me. I've just um, just got out the shower, so I'm a little bit wet and wild. <laughs> um, but welcome to Vlogmas 2021. This is the first year I am joining in Vlogmas, and I'm pretty excited to be honest with you. Um, I think it'd be quite nice to do a little account of our day-to-day -day stuff in the run-up to Christmas. So um, I've been up since six. My eldest daughter has literally just gone out to catch her bus. And I generally in the mornings have about 10 minutes in between her leaving the house and um, then going and getting my youngest daughter who is um, at primary school so she obviously I take her to school and um, yeah so I, I generally have 10 minutes and I have a quick brew quick cup of tea and um, just kind of set myself up for the day so yeah if you if you've joined me hopefully over the coming 24 days I hope to bring you lots of festive day-to-day -day stuff and um, also some crafty bits and pieces and obviously anything I make along the way that's dressmaking related or any fabrics or anything that's arrive in this time I will share with you guys so thanks for joining me and um, hopefully this will improve over the course of the day I will um, put a little bit of something on my face and um, yeah so I don't scare the kids on the school run so I'll see you in a bit Where'd you have Well, it's number one, isn't it? So yeah. I'm guessing. Is there not a little. Well, that's quite tricky, that, isn't it? They normally have a, a little. Guess we're gonna like a nook. So I'll just dig your nail in a little bit. I don't have nails. Don't, well, don't there's have... an incentive to grow some nails then, isn't it? Yeah. And then I'd grab a corner and then pull it round. Even mummy's curious what's going to get in there. Oh look, it's a ruler. What could it be? A ruler? Oh, that's cool, isn't it? It's a cool little creeper ruler. Oh. I think I broke from the 15. Minecraft, show us what you've got then. Look. Oh. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it, Daddy? Learn a creeper. Oh, fab! Day one, folks. You emerging? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have some nice breakfast. Yeah. Oh, these dark mornings, eh? What happened? What do we count down to up from the 1st of December? Christmas. Yeah. What's it called? The Christmas countdown. So the begins with that. What kind of calendar do we get on the 1st of December? Advent An calendar. Advent calendar! Hey! Ooh. What do you make of that? It's a Lego one. It's a Lego one? For our little Lego fan. Lego fan. For anyone who doesn't already know. 
And My youngest um, loves Lego. <laughs> don't you? I don't know. Oh, that's who pretty cool, isn't it? I know who so, I am. No, yeah, so we can see door number one more clearly now, can't we? Ooh. What's in door number one? Ooh. Even I'm excited. We <gasps> love our Lego bits, don't we? So what is it? I know what this is. Do you? And it's all ready. And everything's better in my life now. Oh, so what is it? It's a person, isn't it? Yeah. But what type of person? Who is it? It's a micro doll. Yeah. And can you guess who it is? Go on, what's she called? Olivia. Is it Olivia? Oh, uh, so we've got Olivia today. So one of the things on our list of things to do this morning is I spent some of yesterday sorting out in my um, daughter's room and we had a load of children's books that she's too old to read now. Um, they're probably aimed at children up to maybe six. So I went through them all and uh, sorted out all the like young reader books. There's loads in there, loads of lovely books that over the over the years we've kind of read at bedtime and things. And I said to uh, Craig, I said they're far too nice not to be given to somebody. Um, so we inquired with um, our school and our school have absolutely leapt at the chance of having the books for in the classroom so this big heavy bag of books will be going to school with us this morning so I have asked Craig to come along with me and to carry them because they are quite weighty so uh, yeah but it was good that um, I was really pleased that they could go somewhere where they could be used so yeah fabulous Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out So it's a little bit later on now. I'm back from doing the school run this morning and I've washed up downstairs, got rid of all the breakfast pots and everything. And in the normal way, I would be working on a Wednesday, but I am currently off at the minute. I will be back next week. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I work part time for an employer and I also run my own business so I split my week between the two things. So the second half of the week if you like is usually um, dedicated to my creative business. So I've got a bonus day this week, um, say bonus day, I've spent the, <laughs> spent the evening last night tidying around and things um, so that I don't look like a complete scumbag <laughs> on vlogmas i'm on kidding really um but as you can probably imagine i live in a house with my husband and two young girls and it's a busy house so it's not um definitely not instagram or you know youtube ready all of the time it's just the way it is isn't it um we as I say we're busy and we have busy evenings, we have busy days so the house does get a little bit messy so um, I'm not going to apologise for that because I'm sure that many people can relate to that if you've got um, a busy house yourself. So um, yeah so I spent yesterday evening tidying up a little bit just to make us a little bit more presentable um, and the one room that I, it was over the weekend I was working on sorting out my creative room now it's 
a it's the smallest room in our house and I am very very lucky to have it as I say um, I mainly run my business from here but I also do my my dressmaking in here as well sometimes um, at weekends I will sit at the kitchen table and uh, so there so that I'm not completely um, isolated from the family um, but I do have this little space but as you can see at the minute on the discussion of um, messy it is exceptionally even I'm in this corner my desk is just covered in things and over into this corner is just full of stuff now the reason that is is I um, if you have watched my general dressmaking vlogs you will probably recognize this corner here my pictures and everything because my desk used to be further into this corner behind me whereas now I've moved it to nearer the window so it's kind of overlooking our garden and the neighbours gardens Um I'm a bit like that I don't know about anybody else but uh, I kind of like a little bit of a change around occasionally and uh, I, I thought, <laughs> as you do, um, in amongst everything else, I thought I'll just switch everything around a little bit and make it work a little bit better for me. So at the minute, it is, <laughs> even the floor's got things on it, um, it is a bit of a mess. So my morning, this morning on my bonus day, is going to be spent just tidying, um, tidying up in here and making it all get everything put away really in in its place uh, or its new place so it's a case of trying to find places for stuff as well so yeah so that's what my morning will entail and whilst I'm doing that I'm going to I don't know what other people do actually I'm um, quite interested to know but when you're sewing um, what do you do for what what do you do for entertainment my thing is um, I like listening to audiobooks so I I there's a subscription service in the UK which I won't mention I won't plug um, but it's a very well known one and they are really good so um, I have a subscription with them for two books each month and generally speaking um, that lasts me quite well because I'll, I'll listen whilst I'm working or whilst I'm dressmaking um, but I have recently found a new author and uh, for anyone who's interested it's a lady called um, Rachel Abbott and from the books it's I, I've really got into it's not something I was into um, before but I've really got into um, crime novels and crime books so I stumbled across this lady called Rachel Abbott and she's got various books uh, she's clearly been doing it for some time and um, I just picked one that I like the sound of and it was the oh, what's he called now I'm trying to think Tom something or other my mind's gone blank as it does when you try and think of something but it's about a detective called Tom something I really should know now because um, long story short I stumbled across this book and it was really really good and there was a series um, of this particular detective's um, story so it kind of goes into his life but also there's a, a crime in each book so um, I started listening to this book and it was really good so I have now burned through quite a few I've actually bought a few extras over the last couple of months of this series as well in addition to my subscription because they're just really good and the other thing with the book as well um, is the set in the area where I live in the UK so I don't know I, I really need to have a look into this um, but she talks a lot about Manchester and Greater Manchester and the surrounding areas so um, parts of the story I'm like oh I know there I've been there so it makes it super um, super special really one that it's a really good storyline um, really interesting book and obviously I can relate to it because uh, she's talking about 
um, all the characters are visiting areas that I know of. So yeah, so for anyone who is interested, if you like crime novels or you live in my kind of area and you're into that type of story, I highly recommend, if you haven't already come across her, Rachel Abbott. She's absolutely fabulous. So I'll try and remember the name of the detective. Um, and if I think of it, I will randomly um, pop it in and tell you what he's called. But for now, I'm going to get cracking on this room because it desperately needs it. So I will see you in a bit. So in all the excitement this morning of getting the girls their advent calendars out, I completely forgot to do my own. And um, if you've watched previous um, vlogs of mine, I did mention in one of them that I had been treated as a pre-Christmas present by the hubby. Um, to the Kyla and the Machine advent calendar this year which has got lots of their lovely labels in. Now um, I've been really good and I haven't opened any early or anything like that. I put it safely away to the point where as I'm sorting out my room this morning I'd obviously been moving things around and I thought, where did I actually put it? So I've just spent like the last 10 minutes once I realised that I hadn't done my advent calendar looking for it. So I found it, it was on the shelf down here, uh, safely tucked away, ready for this very moment. So I'm going to open that. Um, as, I, as I say, I know this has been very popular and I'm pretty certain other people who maybe are doing Vlogmas or watch will have this calendar as well. So my plan with my vlogmas is um, I'm going to try and just edit and condense everything that I've sort of collated over the day um, into a little vlogmas each day but post it the next day. So my hope with that is with this because one of the things I don't want to do is spoil it for anybody else who has bought it because I, I personally wouldn't um, post anything on Instagram or anything like that um, and I wouldn't obviously have this video out early enough to spoil it for anybody give you know give people a chance to have a look at it themselves so as I say this will actually be me opening it today but it will actually come out on the 2nd of December so hopefully by that point anyone who um, has the same calendar I'm not ruining it for them so um yeah so I'm going to open it up so excited and um, for anybody who doesn't know it kind of opens up and all little windows ah the light shining on that inside I do apologize um but all the little windows are inside and number one I, I have spied straight away is here and it's a lovely little window looking over on some lovely countryside some nice flowers unfortunately here in um, where I am it's a bit of a wet and windy and horrible day so it doesn't resemble this in the slices so that's rather nice to look at so I will open it up and I will have a little look what is in there I'm having to laugh at this because um, there is three labels in today's and I will just pick up one of them so you can see what it says and I'm sure we can all relate to this one. So you should be able to see it says I'm probably thinking about sewing. Well I would say 99% of the time that is most probably true so they are really cute the little koala on them and I will definitely look forward to putting them in some of my makes um, in the probably in the new year so yeah so exciting so they will now go in my stash so brilliant really nice I'm really chuffed with that 
hope you've enjoyed opening yours to whatever your advent calendar is. So I guess you could say it's been a productive day. Um, I'm going to go and pick up my youngest in a minute or two. Um, but as I say, um, it's been quite a productive day off because I have managed to tidy and sort out and organise my sewing space. So I will just show you briefly before I pop out to get her um, what I've done, but it's a lot more zen and a lot more easy to work in now. Um, I'll just say as well, I have been listening to the book that I mentioned whilst I've been tidying around and the um, the policeman in it, uh, the detective, is called uh, Tom Douglas for anyone who um, was wondering. Um, once I started listening I was like, yep, yeah, that's it, I should have remembered that but yeah, my mind went blank earlier. So I will quickly just show you my space now it's been tidied and then I will pop and get my little girl. So my machine's back on my desk, which is now relatively clear. So that's good. And the area over here, which was jam-packed with things earlier, is slightly better. It's more organised and I know where everything is. My overlockers, they're ready to be used. And then if we turn over here, the hoover's there, ready and waiting because that's my next little job to do is hoover around the floor in here and get rid of any bits and pieces and threads and stuff. And then my Calax unit, which has got the drawers in it, that's I've put all bits and pieces in those to hide all the things away that I don't really need on a day-to-day -day basis. But over in this corner are all my threads and my little miniature ironing board for smaller projects and things. And then all bits and pieces. There is a hair mask on there, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed. <laughs> that just needs to go in the bathroom. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly pleased with that for today. So yeah, I, um, I will go and get my daughter now. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Silly string. <gasps> Is your hot chocolate good? Yeah. Yeah? Jaws nice? Hot, hot, coffee chocolate's delicious. I hope they all get like their own stocking. So it's uh, getting dark now. Um, both the girls in from school, as you've probably seen, I've done them a nice hot chocolate. It's definitely a a hot chocolate kind of night tonight after um, it's quite cold out there. Luckily the rain has disappeared so it's just chilly and stuff at the minute. So when it's like that I always make them a nice warm drink when they come in. So I've done all that and um, I just thought I'd show you something that has arrived in the post this afternoon which I've not yet looked at because I was busy tidying but I subscribed to put all the all the bits of uh, promotional stuff in there and um, but I subscribed to the simple uh, simply sewing magazine not simple so that's one of the uh, pattern companies that I've been using 
a lot recently. Um, but yeah, Simply Sewing Magazine. So I am yet to look through this, but I will probably have a look at this later on when I get a minute. Um, you always get in this um, magazine, you always get to um, patterns. And on this month's, there is the Fleur Blazer, which I quite like the idea of, to be honest. So I'm going to have a, a closer look at that. I really like the idea of a nice blazer. So that's something I definitely want to investigate because I, what's it called? The Friday Pattern Company. Is it the Heather Blazer? I think it's called the Heather Blazer. I'm having one of them days today where you can't um, can't think properly. <laughs> Must have a lot on my mind. Um, but yeah, I think it's the Heather Blazer. And I've had my eye on that for a while. I don't yet have the pattern for it. But it's supposed to be quite a nice um, sort of easing in into making a, a, a jacket or a blazer style um garment so I quite like the idea of that but now having seen this in the subscription I'm thinking I might have a closer look and see the style of that and the measurements and everything and then the other one is the lady looks absolutely lovely in this one the Jenna dress now I'm not a massive fan for me personally I think they look lovely on other people but I'm not a massive fan of the Peter Pan collar, um, but I have to say, I quite like the look of the square collar on on the other, um, other option. So I'm going to have a, a closer, closer look at them. The Jenna dress, so that's uh, By Hand London, which is another pattern company that I really like. So yeah, so they're quite nice actually in this month. And as I say, I will, um, when I get a minute tonight, I will have a look through that. So Craig's actually working this evening until eight o'clock. So my plan is to, um, I think I will sign off for today. Um, I'm hoping to, in the future, get a little bit more actual sewing and festive type things into my vlog it's been a bit of a funny day today because it's been a lot of organizing of things but as I say it would have been a work day today so I do feel from a personal point of view it's been quite productive so I'm going to sign off for tonight I will be joining you again tomorrow and um on the day two of vlogmas and um, I hope whatever you've been up to, you've had a lovely day too. And I will see you soon for the next day. Bye.